loves we are back with another video thank you so much for tuning into my channel first i'm so happy to shoot this because this is the first new video that i'm shooting with my new camera as you see the clarity okay everything is nice and clear we are beasts we are flawless in the camera okay i am upgrading all of my youtube videos right now and i'm so excited to be shooting new content with my new camera y'all it's <laughs> level up i'm so excited to be shooting this video because it's gonna be the first time i do a weave install as you see it's already in and i'm gonna kind of take you through the process of how i installed my sewing um i previously already had the hair um so i've had it for about a year so we just did like a quick little sew well it wasn't quick but we did a sewing um but first before we even go right into this video as you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom we would love to bring more content like this for you guys um especially just like learning as you guys learning as i'm learning you know trying new things and see what works and what doesn't so if you like that sort of stuff please make sure you subscribe also comment and like this video um if you don't know me if you're new to this channel i'm nicole jackson i do urban style beauty and hair so yes y'all let's get right into this video okay <sighs> Okay, it's quarantine, but we still, quarantine, but make it flawless, okay? Quarantine, but make it cute, okay? <laughs> yes. Hey, y'all. So, I just washed my hair um, and blow-dried it out. So, this is what it's looking like now. My hair is super long right now. I've been taking, um, I think just with the year of me wearing weaves um, last year and then I'm also taking like um, some like biotin hair nails and skin um, things my hair is just like super it's, it's growing a lot and I just want to put a weave in because I just want it to grow more um, and it's just being a lot to handle right now during quarantine like you got to do your own hair I already washed the weave so this is the weave that's already been pre-colored i had this for about a year and it's still in such good shape um so i already washed it i let it air dry um so you see it's like a natural body wave um so i'm going to be installing this in my hair um i would have been did this but if you saw in my um weekend to myself video my last vlog i've been waiting for needle and thread because i've never done this before so i don't have needle and threads just laying around i only got my needle and i got a uh, well a lot of needles if you see somebody's texting me where the day party flex at like we can't quarantine i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and install so i'm gonna do the installs like i usually do this is my first time bear with me okay we're gonna figure this out um, so I'm usually when I do my installs, I have a side part and then I have a leave out and then maybe like a little bit on the sides, but all the back is covered up. I used to do the back out, but, um, just because I can put it in a run, uh, like in a high ponytail when I'm um, running, but I just felt like my hair wasn't, um, blending a lot more. I like it better when it's just like the top and then the back is all the way sewed up. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a part and then put my hair in, um, the cornrows. So I'm going to try to do the cornrows like my stylist does it. I like just taking it out. I already know how she does it. Um, but if that fails, then I'm just going to go ahead and do the cornrows that I see like people doing on YouTube, like the, the straight backs. My stylist does it a particular way and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and do it. Um, the only thing, the only reason like I'm questioning it is because like I'm not the best cornrower. Like I only know how to cornrow my hair. I don't know how to do other people's and I'm not like the best. So, um... Yeah, if it's just too much to do, then I'm just going to do the straight size back. But if not, I'm going to try to do what my stylist does because it gets it super flat. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to kind of do like a speed up and we'll see. Um, I probably won't show the whole braiding process because it's going to be too tedious. I may just show what it looks like afterwards, um, but I'm going to go ahead and and put my hair parts. So the way I section my hair, 
I actually got the inspiration from um, Lauren London and I'll insert a picture but I just love the way her installs and her hair looks and she does like this really deep um, circular part on her hair and I just love it honestly it is like the best part that I've ever seen so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a part real quick of how my hair would usually be styled and then go ahead and section out my leave out I'm gonna go ahead so this is what my part is gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and do my leave out and do it in the aspect of how it would be um just do a circular part around um and I just and I don't like to leave a lot out um of course I'll leave like this part out this may even be too much but I think it's actually a good so I'll just leave like as you see this part out um and that's my U part so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down so I know my stylist she does a lot like positioning it just to make sure that it's covered so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that I'm probably going to mm, do a little bit more hair yeah see like this is about the space of how my stylist does it and I'm going to do So I'm going to clip this back and then after I do these parts, I'm just going to go ahead and braid it um, so it's off the way. So yeah, so this is what this will look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and I just want to do it so that you don't really like see the weave like how my stylist does it so I'm gonna just straighten up this part a little bit serves like how much stylist does it well how much she leaves out and like you know when I wash it or like how I wash it how much was left out from you know me washing it and I think this is yeah I think this is good just because I'm just trying to make sure everything is good I really don't care about like the parts for here right now because it's not gonna show really I just want to make sure see yeah I think this is enough hair all right so now that I left out the leave out I'm just gonna go ahead and 
cornrow my hair i'm gonna do that off camera but i'll show you afterwards what it looks like and how i did it um i don't want to start something and then like i explained earlier i don't like how i'm doing it so then do it another way but i'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and see how it works out so all right y'all so i'm gonna show you what i did with my hair I started trying to do what my stylist did and like I thought that wasn't going to work out for me. So I did straight back, um, I did it basically straight back and it's probably a little messy but whatever and um, straight back on the side too so I'm left with just these four cornrows and I'm going to go ahead and just sew them in the empty um, just sew them down and then go ahead and get ready to sew in this hair y'all we'll see the cornrows are pretty tight which is good i tried to get uh all the back of my hair as possible so um i already have my needle and thread and we're just gonna go ahead and sew it down is a way a lot more frizzier than like what my stylist does I just have to work on my cornrows but I think for the first time doing it um, I did a good job it is nice again nice and tight um, so I already did my needle and thread so again just a recap I sewed everything up so it's nice and sewed right into these cornrows as you see some of it is um, nice and sewed in between so I already did um, my needle and thread and I have the tracks ready so I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing it in this is the longest one that I have um, so I'm gonna start sewing this in first because I know that was at the bottom and then from there I'm gonna lay out the other pieces and go ahead and start um, putting that one oh uh, before I start I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a little bit of um a little bit of this like quick serum that I have this Tulia Waji protective styles it's like a, a oil free serum and it's this line is specifically for like um it's like specifically for um what's I want to for like protective styles um, so, and it comes with a spout, so, like, you can easily apply it, like, when you're, um, doing your hair, like, when you have a protective style, like, braids or anything like that. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit in my scalp because my scalp gets super dry. Um, and I just want to kind of protect it a little bit while it's in this state. So I'm literally just putting some. And my stylist does apply like, um, she does apply a uh, moisturizer when she does put the install in. Like, let me say, I miss my stylist, okay? This is some time and effort, and I'd rather just get my hair done and call it the day. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this hair. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a speed up, and if I'm looking down, it's because, or looking this way, it's because I'm looking in a mirror, and I'm also watching uh, Game of Thrones. So, um, it's getting good, y'all. It's spoiler if you haven't watched it I'm like I'm about to be to the point where Ned is about to die um so I'm just kind of dreading it right now but um I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this baby and yeah wish me luck y'all <music>
y'all this is ghetto <laughs> i'm never doing that again like okay so i finished my whole head it took a lot and i hope that i did it somewhat okay it definitely is in there but i will say like once i got to the top i realized like I didn't have enough and then even in the back it took me a while to like figure out like how I needed to do the size like you can still see my braids right here but I really don't care about that right now so um, I fixed it more towards the top but the back I just didn't know how like you had to sew I, I sewed it wrong but but it's it's actually cool i did it like straight on this side but when it got to this side it was just like too much but y'all i see why i don't want to sew my hair this was first of all it is 9 46 at night it is late as hell and it took me i don't even know how many hours just to do everything like this is ghetto this is ghetto like I am going, like, Deshaun, if you're seeing this, this is ghetto. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, I'm not doing this again. Like, unless it's, like, Armageddon or something, but I'm not doing this again. This was ghetto, okay? To have to do your own freaking weed. Ghetto. Ghetto as hell. I pray that, you know my leave out is cool it ain't feeling cool right now but uh, y'all it's just a lot a lot i mean it is i did okay for my first time like let's be real i did really okay for my first time everything my braids are a lot like okay so i noticed that my braids are bulkier like it just they feel bulky so I really have to work on cornrows to like figure out how to do it straight but let me just go ahead and like blow my hair out and then go ahead and put some curls so I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair y'all I'm so hungry I haven't ate like I will say I'm glad I'm finished I think I did a really good job the first time just like doing my hair I think I did an amazing not amazing cuz this <laughs> But I think I did a really good job just like the first initial time doing um, my own sewing. But just the time it takes because it's my first time. Well, okay, so we see I did the, so I did the parting, okay. The parting, let me see if you can see. Maybe, I don't know, because this space right here. But um, once I... Oh, once I see, so yeah, like there is a lot more space right here. So, um, I guess once I flat iron it, I can really just see how it's gonna look. Um, and again, it's quarantine, so I feel like this was the perfect time to do my first sew in, um, because. <laughs> Honestly, no one is really going to see it. So, yeah. So, it, it honestly was the perfect time. And my hair is braided up too. Um, it can, you know, relax for a little bit. It feels good to have it, like, braided up doing something else. Um, so, I'm just going to flat iron my leave out. If you like her from other videos i really don't care too much about the the leave out damage from my hair um honestly just because i um i like my hair straight too so um i'm okay and i don't wear my curls too much so i'm okay with um any type of like leave out see I think the problem was I think the problem was I just I didn't leave enough out that, I think that's the problem I didn't leave enough out um and that's why it feels like um that's why I felt like my hair was running out so I didn't leave enough out so 
let me go ahead and finish doing this and then I'm gonna curl my hair up and then I'll show you like the ending result all right you guys so this is the finished look I have to say I think I did a really good job just for it being my first time it's all in um, I will say that I needed to probably leave a little bit more in the back out um, with the leave out back here just because I know it's not like fully covered if you can see pretty sure you can but um just for me like being able to take pictures and no one really seeing the top of my head and being in a hospital in quarantine and it being my first time I think I did such an amazing job um tell you the truth this is ghetto okay <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever do this again because it's just I mean because I it's something that you have to learn and it's something like you know it let me turn this off first um, it's it's one of those things where it's just like you have to keep doing it over time for you to get faster and I don't know if I want to keep doing this over time you know like I don't know if I'm about that life um, and honestly it would be very much different if I was doing it in someone else's hair um, I probably would have been like way more faster I would have you know just probably not picked my hand so much I swear to god the amount of times this needle done pick my hand I probably would have died um but I don't know if I would ever like do this again unless it was like super necessary and but I will have to say that it does look really good um as you can see it I'll turn to the back it does look really good for it just being my first time um so if you enjoyed this please let me know if you do your own sewings please let me know like give me some motivation y'all because this just was literally like eight hours <laughs> of my day like it's 10 o'clock now I don't know if you just heard my mother she's like you still awake like yes I just finished my hair when I take it out good God pray for me because I've sewed it in so many different ways <laughs> I think that's another thing too it was harder because I don't have like fresh bundles where I can cut it and do what I need to do myself it was already pre-cut so it took me a while just to figure out how um, my stylist sewed it in before and like how she was piecing it and a lot of the pieces were like um were just like um folded over for her like the double so it just took me a while to figure that out too um but I will say again all in all this was okay I probably wouldn't do it do it again because of the timing but you know for the outcome how it looks now like I mean I mean instead of like this back part right here but for the outcome you know I think that it was really good next time I'll just leave a little bit more of a leave out and then I think I probably wouldn't have that problem that I had um where I was just like running out of hair but let me know if you guys like this sewing um if this is something that you want to see me do a little bit more like you want to see the full full-on process like me braiding and how I'm sewing it I didn't really want to show it this time because it's my first time and it was strugglish and I don't want to show you like how to do it when I don't even know how to do it myself but I will say for this first time I did a good job so make sure you guys like and subscribe um, to my channel if you want to see me doing more hair and beauty things um, and I will see you guys in the next video bye